Hello guys, welcome to Motion Tutor and I am back with another After Effects very cool and very interesting tutorial and in this tutorial I will be teach you how you can create this type of water splash logo reveal inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So it's gonna be 100% After Effects tutorial and I will give you this water splash MOV file link in description so you can download and import in your After Effects project panel first. So then we can create a new composition which will be 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second and 8 seconds long and change the name to whatever you want and then click OK. And then go to layers and create a new solid layer, change the name to BG and leave the color to black and then click OK and then go to effects and preset panel and then add a gradient ramp on this solid layer and change the ramp shape to radial ramp and then you can change the color white color to maybe something like dark blue which is the water type of looking color and then you can sweep these colors and you can like change the pointers so here you can see you can drag this here and this will, will become in center and this will be more down so it will be something like this or maybe you can select the color according to your needs which you want and then drag your logo composition or logo here so here i have the simple text water splash which i use as a logo so then you can drag this logo here and then you can drag this water splash mv file there and then go to one second and trim your logo composition here so you can just drag it and trim it on one second and you can press s and add a keyframe on scale property go to maybe 15 to 20 frames forward or maybe 25 frames forward and add another keyframe go to first frame keyframe and change it to zero and change the y like y scale property to 50 percent and then you can add also a keyframe on opacity press u to see all keyframes and go to two second and add another keyframe on opacity go to first frame and change it to zero and then you can add a turbulence displacement effect on it and then solo the layer and go to the frame some frames forward and change the size to 15 and or maybe change the size to 25 percent and the amount will be 75 and you can hold the alt key and click on this evolution stopwatch and write the expression here which is time multiplied by 500 maybe 500 will be okay and then you can go to two second or maybe two and a two uh, 2 and 2 second and 10 frames and add a keyframe on amount go to first frame and change the amount to like very high around 500 and then it will be something like this and you can select the all keyframes right click go to keyframe assistant easy is done and you can select the turbulent displacement keyframe click on this graph editor button right click and select edit speed graph and then you can drag this handle to maybe something like this and then so it will be something like this and then you can go to the frame your second frame and change the amount to maybe five percent so it will be very low but it looks cool so you can see or maybe you can drag this keyframe to little bit later so like now it's looking okay and then then you can unfollow it and uh, so like you can see here the water logo comes and you can change the water mov blending mode to screen so if you don't see the blending mode option click on this trigger switches and then you can press ctrl d to duplicate this water mov and add a curves effect on it and you can then move it down little bit down so like make it down and then you can change the blending mode to soft light and then you can select the first water mov file and press ctrl d to duplicate it and you can change the blending mode to overlay and add a fill effect on it you can change the color to something like blue so maybe some aqua blue you can see it looks very cool but i think the scale one is not looking too much good so i will forward this scale keyframe to very like some frames forward so maybe the scale if i change the scale to 
50 to this and 75 to this and then i will be i think it will be looks more cool so i think now it's okay and then you can add a tagline if you want so just select the text tool and type a text here so just you can type a simple text as a tagline so like you can see i typed a tagline text here you can go to maybe around three seconds and you can go to the text property and click on this animate button and add a opacity click on opacity and then you can click on this add button and here you can add the blur and change the blur amount to around 50% and change the opacity to 0% and you can go to rent selector go to advance and click on this randomize order to enable and then you can just add a keyframe on this start property and go some frames forward so like on 4 seconds and then you can change it 200 and then press u and select the keyframes press f9 for easy is them so then it will be something like this you can see now it's looking very cool and then you can create a new adjustment layer go to layer and create a adjustment layer and just go to select the logo composition and select this turbulent displacement effect press ctrl c to copy it and paste it on this adjustment layer and then you can press u and delete the both keyframe because we don't need these keyframes and change the amount to maybe around 75% or 50% and the scale will be 50 ok or we can change it later if we need it and then you can select the rectangle tool and create a mask or something like this and press ctrl t and you can rotate this mask and you can make it little bit down so like something like this and you can forward it here and press m and add a keyframe on mask path and go to around some frames forward or some seconds forward and then you can move it here so like something here so like it will be goes like this so you can see but the property is very low if i change it to 25 and this one to 100 so then now you can see it's looking way more better way more better and then you can select the keyframes press f9 to easy use them and then you can trim the layer to this keyframe points and then you can duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl d and you can forward this some frames forward so like you can see or maybe more frames forward so like the first one is here and the second one is here so you can add it two times three times whatever how whatever times you want so like i can add uh, here three times and then go to seven second and create a new solid layer and you can select the color will be black and then click ok and you can trim the layer on seven second press t add a keyframe forward this keyframe m on something here and change the property to zero here so it will be just fade out this and that's it now you are done then you can go to your logo composition and you can change your logo here so you can type any text any logo here i change the text and that's it and guys if you learn something new so feel free to hit the like and subscribe button because i am making this type of tutorials for you on regularly basis so feel free to hit the like and subscribe and don't forget to leave your comment and if you don't understand anything feel free to like it, tell me in comment section and by the way guys this is the video hype template which inspired me to create this tutorial so i will also put the video hype template link in the description so if you want to buy the template so the template is uh, like more good so if you're interested to buy so i will put the template link in description and also if you want to support me i will give you my patreon link in description so feel free to support me on patreon and thank you so much guys for watching and that's it for today bye bye